Right, hello everybody. Welcome to my uh, second round playoff match against Drick, uh, the uh, Xbox, I think he is, champ. So um, I won the toss and chose to kick um, because I figured that would give me a double. Like, if he's, you know, he doesn't know what to do. It, right, so okay, the teams are he's got an 11 man elf team, wood elf team with two journeymen. Um, I've got an 11 man dwarf team that I uh, I paid for a Merg Longbeard, so I'd have 12 players because I thought that you know, overtime being a factor. Um, and I got a wizard as well because I was down quite a bit of TV. Um, so yeah, let's look at the teams then. So I've got this journeyman, I've got block guard, uh, guard, block guard, guard stand firm blitzers, lots of um, guard mighty blown stand firm on the on the long beards there, a guard one, uh, rookie runner there so he doesn't get killed by the mighty blow war dancers and the super runner on the bench. Although I've got a wizard, I'm not going to use it to try and turn him over. It's just in case he turns me over. Um, all right, so he's got Blodge Guard there. He's got two Mighty Blow um, War Dancers with Tackles. So that's obviously terrifying for my very squishy runner there. <laughs> Incredibly scary. Um, you know, like even if they one dice him, they're 50% to knock him over. So the block being a missing block there is really horrible for him. He's got a really good catcher. You know, with plus movement and plus agility, plus strength, but he can't really one turn with him because he can't get the pushes against all of my stand firm guys. Um, so that isn't so much of a threat. He's got some guard, and you know, he's, he's, got, he's got three mighty blow total because the uh, tree's got mighty blow, so he, he could do some damage. That's what that was, you know, I thought there was no point in getting uh, two babes because dwarves are more likely to get Kaz than KO'd. Um, so yeah, you know, he's got a decent team, but it's only 11 men, so the longer the game goes on, the more likely it is that I'm going to beat the crap out of him. Um, I could have received in the first half, so that I could have used my rerolls on offense, because obviously, you know, with over with overtime being a very big concern. Also, with overtime kind of gives me the inevitability, in that if it, you know, chances are I'm going to remove more players than him, even though he has got three mighty blow, he can get lucky, of course, but chances are I'm going to remove more players with the... Uh, with him, with my mighty blow and armor nine, and him being armor seven, so um, yeah, kickoff result was uh, his sandwich chaos. It was his stadium, so his uh, he he uh, cancelled that. He completely avo avoided picking up the ball here. Um, I don't know if he forgot or not, or maybe he ran out of time. Um, No. Oh no, he, he used him to protect his war dancer. That was it. <laughs> he, he had to protect his he had to protect his war dancer, his guard guy. But anyway, I hit for the defenseless guy, got the both down. And got a Kaz, which is great because that's his kicker as well. So um, that was a great great turn for me. <laughs> um so yeah, I, I think the kick was the right idea. It gave him, you know, it would be hard for me to put to carry the ball against eleven players. I wanted the chance to remove players, like for example the kicker, um, before my offense. So I thought kicking was fine. Yeah, it is. It's a scary, scary matchup for the dwarves because the, the wood elves have got so much movement and agility, but then obviously it's in and the ball sacking ability. In in this case, with me not having block. Um, but yeah, obviously terrifying for the Woodies because they're gonna. Chances are they're gonna lose players. Interesting that he did the blitz there instead of just taking the three dice block with block. Um, he denied himself a hit there, didn't he? Maybe he was going to switch around this side here, eh? and then when when that failed, that's when he he changed plans. But um. Because he, he does in the end, I mean, I've played the game before, I know he goes for a quick score. Maybe, maybe that blitz there and he was going to try and switch sides. But in the end, he goes for a he goes for a handoff touchdown. You know, which is, which is fair enough. It was fair enough. He, he, you know, he's he's pretty scary on defense for me with uh, with my carrier not having block. But he is down to 10 men already. And now we're getting to make some uh, mighty blow hits and see what happens. Chase campaign edited by Fash here. Do it whoever's receiving. 
Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if the kicking was right or not. Um, but yeah, now now he's only got ten elves on defense. So. And like, if if he had turned me over on on my offense, if I had chosen to receive and he had turned me over, you know, and scored, then he can score quickly, and he's happy with that, because then he's turned it up and he's won. So this way, it puts uncertainty into his drive, and if maybe he could have tried to stall there and he could have failed the stall, so. I was okay with I was okay with kicking. So obviously here I'm just trying to protect against blitzers and uh what have you, rather than obviously maximizing hits is a consideration, but uh it's a shame that my uh that my longbeards have so many skills here because obviously I I want tackle on the wings to stop them running through, but then also want um Want to hit with mighty blow, so get the ref. So his, his stadium's worked uh, twice so far, which is pretty crazy. Two kicks. So here, so here you can see it's it's a brilliant kick. Although he lost his kicker, I am going to be split in half so he can put a bunch of pressure on here. But yeah, he, my setup was he he, he had an asymmetrical setup, so I had an asymmetrical offense, just trying to uh, just trying to stop you know protect against a blitz somewhat, which thank God didn't come. The good thing about doing this so long after it happened is that I can't really remember what happens in the, in the match now. <laughs> yeah, so I, I got a little bit of cover back. Oh, and just tagged him with the... Uh, I, I could have put the loner on offense, to be fair, seeing as his, his job was just going to get punched. But, I, you know, I thought I don't really care if I lose a rookie. Long beard, but you know, and he he might have to do something. That was, you know, that was only if everything worked that he gets to mark him. So maybe maybe though, maybe I should have put the loner on to to get punched by the tree. Blitz does nothing, but you know it's with a stand firm, so it's pretty safe. He stand firm, so he can't get punched into the tree. The guard. He could he could break down this side, but then it's it's blodged stand firm, isn't it? So it's not so easy to break down this side. Yeah, he just runs around. I also thought about sticking like the blodge the blodge stand firm onto the tree because then he you know chances are he wouldn't get knocked down or pushed around. It was certainly an option, but then he could three dice him, couldn't he? So. He rolled a one for the dodge, but he he was dodging away from a non-tackle guy. Feels bad, man. Yeah, he is, he does decide. Well, he's got he's putting a bit of pressure on, isn't he? He's got he's got the uh, he's he's pressuring a bit, which is why he stood these up. Um, but yeah, it's a bit it's a bit questionable because he is giving away mighty blow hits. Well, but then it's not easy. It's not easy to protect the ball and hit them. Definitely not this guy. It's not easy to hit him because if. Uh, if I stand him up, he gets hit in. Glorious! <laughs> 2018 year of Jim winning the World Cup and Herb Dirt Base 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 getting to number one glorious. <laughs> glorious! Thank you very much, Orlensis. Thanks for staying fantastic. Oh yeah, I completely forgot the date. And that would be up, but thank you very much. Um, Thank you very, very much. Right, so yeah, so he's 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 got through here because you know that I had the non-tackle here, didn't I? So he was able to dodge through here and put a bit of pressure on. But um, yeah, I, I don't hate him standing this guy up just because it's not easy for it. It stops me getting away from the tree. Um, so I, I and he's alone, so he doesn't care. This one seems a bit. He's just getting punched for no reason. I obviously, I want to try and hit him because he's defenseless. But uh, maybe the dancer. Let's see. Let's see what happens. It's funny not being able to remember. I'm gonna go for the sideline one. I would have liked to have got in there. I don't know why I didn't. I don't know why I didn't do that. Maybe I just thought this was a, I could make a kind of safe cage over here. Didn't make it three dice. Maybe I should have. I could have. Should have done. 
Seeing as I'm bringing this guy in here anyway, so I definitely should have made that three dice. That was a. But then maybe you know maybe I could have moved him in somewhere else if he if I, if I had made the push. So maybe I shouldn't have made it three dice. Maybe that wasn't so bad. But um. Got guard on these squares, but not here. But then it's hard with him being here. It's hard for that defense. Glorious. I've been putting up with your shit for over a year. Even when you don't turn up, I still sub. It's good you're back. <laughs> Thanks very much, VIP Kurgo. <laughs> Thanks for staying fantastic. Thank you very, very much. Glorious. So he's, but he, it was just an easy two plus dodge. So yeah, I did give up this hit on him here. Really didn't know that was uh, maybe that could have, should have, would have, could have. He doesn't leap in though. He doesn't leap in for the hit. He just hits the uh, non. Now, if he had leapt in, he could have got one dice on the ball there, couldn't he? Um, but he didn't. He just took the easy pickings of the rookie, uh, the rookie runner. Um, and this is a great spot for him now, isn't he? But by standing those guys up, it means he, his tree gets under three people. So it was a bit risky standing these two elves up last turn to get punched by Mighty Blow. But then his tree's doing amazing work now tying up three line elves so he's he's i mean this is a really tough spot here isn't it incredibly tough spot and i, I did think for a while here before opening my turn with a one dicer which uh thank god thank god it was a pal so and a ko classic classic uh dwarf one dice block there That was a bit risky as well, wasn't it? Because a push, I would have had to just hit with him, but I would have had two assists. Also, my troll slayer was missed next game for this match, so that's why there's no troll slayer. And then the dodge. So I mean, that was not much of a turn, was it? That was not much of a turn. I've got the bare minimum cage protecting me here. Stun on him is good, but again, he can. Ah, but there's guard here. Ah, so he couldn't. He couldn't. He can't one dice now. But there you go, the block I give away is a Kaz. I pull that because it's too badly hurt. Glorious. Herbed up. Base, base, base. <laughs> I'm arm rate. This won't fail. <laughs> Glorious. Thank you very much, Pablo's MCW. Um, thank you very much for staying fantastic. Yeah, so he's removed two. He's made two cars now. So, so my decision to get the uh, the journeyman's looking pretty good. Um, I put my apple's gone. He's uh, base, base, base. his base apple's gone as well. Base. No, he's still I got his apple. Boop, boop, um, so I'm getting out bashed by Wood Elves at this point in time, <laughs> to nobody's surprise. But you know, I, I kicked. I gave him the. Uh, I gave him the. Uh, what initiative in blocking, didn't I? So it's not. And you know, sure I'm armor nine and he's armor seven, but you know he's minimizing hits, isn't he? Dodging away and stuff, and it, all, most of his blocks are, are with mighty blow, um, due to having the mighty blow dancers. So, <laughs> another, another, <laughs> another AV break. As you can imagine, I was probably. A little bit salty at this point in time, thinking, oh man, as if I'm getting now bashed by, uh, by Wood Elves. <laughs> but he's given us a bit of a space in here, isn't he? If I only had my Troll Slayer knocked down the tree. But I can get a little bit forward here. A little bit of a weak link there. Defenseless Elf. But it's just so hard getting forward. And still protecting the ball, isn't it? It's outrageous, really. I like it so. That uh, this this ball is just unprotected. <laughs> All right, that was that was a huge dodge out to uh, to put myself in an eye cage so that he can't hit without a guard assist from me. But he it's it's easy for him to get a guard assist in, so it's still an easy one dice. Very, very lucky that he he rolls a one and takes his re-roll away for the turn. But he's still 
He's still 50% to get me down here, isn't he, after the block? Oh, and then he triple skulls. <laughs> so that was pretty, that was pretty unlucky by him. Obviously, to roll a triple skull there. <laughs> However, you know, it was unnecessary, wasn't it? And yes, it was unlucky, but he should have just done the dodge and the one dice, really. This is what he should have done. This block wasn't achieving anything. This assist, sure, he made it three dice, but having this guy back to recover would have been better, in my opinion. I don't, I don't like that he made that block. I don't think he was doing anything, apart from fear. I mean, it was incredibly unlucky, don't get me wrong. But it was an unnecessary... Uh, it was an unnecessary uh, block that he made, and then that was that was what I needed. Because if he hadn't done that, if he if he had you know if he had if he had succeeded with that block, and then he succeeded with the dodge and the pal, I'd have been screwed. But as it was, um, yeah. <laughs> as it was, that that was that was just what I needed, wasn't it? A triple one. Yeah. So I was incredibly lucky. Incredibly lucky that he failed that. And obviously gave me a bunch of hits from it as well. And obviously movement seven means I can uh, I don't have to go so far forward. But um it's still scary, isn't it? It's still very scary hitting <laughs> hitting with one of my few non tackle players there. Relying on a one dice, I've still got three rerolls though. And that's only one dice because he's strength. He's strength three. <laughs> Stunned, very nice. So yeah, that, that what a turnaround that was. Eh? If he, if you know, if he hadn't failed that block or hadn't made that block or if he'd failed the dodge, I mean, he would have still been in a bad spot if he'd failed the dodge. But. Um, yeah, it was incredible. Makes the leap in for the one dice. Rerolls it, so I got away with one there. For sure. For sure, I did leave one corner without guard. So I left the one dice on there. And he, he was right to go for it. You can call him unlucky to fail, I guess, because it was a 3 plus 4 plus. Pretty likely with a reroll. I get another cast. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, dwarves d dwarves down men against wood elves is uh, is tough times. <laughs> Tree fail to stand up, which is good. And now we're now we're into a bit of a potato situation here on turn seven. But I, you know I'll use the wizard to score if I have to because that you know I'm not I'm not gonna get um, I'm not gonna get to turn him over or you know I'm not gonna use, obviously he scored on his drive anyway so. It's only defensively if he steals it, or offensively to push the score. Hit on a war answer does nothing. Sad times. Both war answers knocked over, but no, no injuries. Obviously, the stun's fine. That's a, it's a pretty big potatoy spot here we're in. Um, but you know, look, people are based up a little bit. Um, I thought about founding this guy because it's it's too easy for him to get one dice on the ball or maybe two dice on the ball. I really didn't think about dodging weight fouling or 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 make the one dice block. I had the reroll. I could have won, at least one dice blocked him or or made this. And yeah, look, he just had to do a GFI and he's got two dice on the ball now. So I probably should have fouled the dancer. Probably should have fouled the dancer. There, to be fair. But you know, I was I was already men down. I was a bit scared of getting sent off. It's the armor break. And then rolls rolls the dice to get it back. Oh, he doesn't get it back. But still, you know, that's the score gone. So maybe I should have dodged away and fouled. Or at least one diced him so he couldn't two dice me here. So now all there is to do on the last turn is obviously no one's in range to score. All I can do is punch this board answer. Double GFI to do it with tackle. <laughs> and get a Kaz. Huge. Insta apple there. Yep, obviously. So that's his apple gone at least. You know, so that, that's something. That's something. So I mean, 1-0 down. It was his it was his it was his reception, so that's okay. 
you know, Medicaz is KO stayed out, which is huge. Um, and obviously I've got a reserve and he doesn't. So it ends up he's defending with eight versus versus ten. You know, so we do have a man advantage for the second half, the start of it at least. So it, it went okay. I mean, if those two had if those two had come back, it'd have been a lot harder. Duh. <laughs> Um, but you know, he's got his both ward answers still against my defenseless runner. It's still very, very scary. Very scary for me. Yeah, obviously I have the inevitability if I if I if I score here and take it over time, chances are chances are he'll get outbashed. But at the moment he has outbashed me <laughs> in absolute terms of uh, of three cast to two. Both apples working. On badly hurts. And now the now the loan is doing his job of getting punched by the air. Losing right right was pretty pretty bad for me, I thought. Um you know obviously dwarves are pretty slow. I know he's movement seven, so he's got a bit more of a burst to score. But still. Oh nice. Nice Kaz. And without the troll slayer, I can't even think of hitting the tree. He did. He did do the tactic of hiding a player behind the tree and hoping you don't spot him. But I did spot him and did blitz him, <laughs> and did in fact KO him. So now he's down to very few players, isn't he? So so now it's looking now it's looking pretty good. Five five elves and a you know one one for one in one of my players out of the game. So yeah, but still, even with these ones, they they can always just get the ball off me. So I was, it's still scary. I'm ne never out of the woods in this match. Whatever happens, pretty, pretty much. Going for the bit of the greedy mighty blow hit here rather than the safer wrestle hit. Oh, the wrestle, the wrestle's strength too. So no, <laughs> ignore that. <laughs> he's got the uh, he's got the uh, strength strength three edge five guy basing the ball. Shame that I can't blitz him with uh, with mighty blow. And you know I prob I probably messed up here because uh, I did split the team a little bit. And obviously this is his big chance to get pressure. His turn one. Um, because you know, chances are he'll be down more men as time goes by. So he did, he did the right thing of blocking the easy blitz. But now I've got a mighty blow blitz, so I'm okay. I'm okay with a mighty blow blitz here. I pushed this guy to the wrong square, didn't I? Or did I get both down? I'm pushing the wrong square because I blocked going in here for the assist. Oh, I don't need an assist because he's a strength too. Doing well so far, aren't I? <laughs> right. So th that push is fine. So yeah, I just go for the dodge. I mean, I am agility four with dodge. So I just went for the dodge away and GFI and uh, and don't blitz the strength three guy. Not sure that was the play. Maybe it would have been better to have blitzed him. Just because he is a scoring threat, isn't he? So um, I've got an anti anti cage except I don't have the extra guy so I needed two GFIs and I would have had to use my reroll because I needed I needed the guard inside so now I've got guard all around the cage so now pretty good anti ward answer cage but th those two GFIs are absolutely essential otherwise it would have been an easy one dice one dice on the ball um, but he, he, he's he got uphill and he gets it because I'm defenseless you know so bad 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 scatter for me, really, because he's agility 5, so he just got to roll some 2 pluses. Fails the first one. Typical. Typical, uh, <laughs> when you're L's, you always roll a 1 on the first time. <laughs> on the first one you need. So, yeah, it looked terrifying now. And then he punts it as well. So, I didn't think for long before bolting this guy. Because it's just too much could have gone wrong if I blitzed him and didn't knock him over. So, insta, insta lightning bolt. Incredibly lucky to Kazin. Incredibly lucky. Um, 
and because now I can focus. And I had to knock over the war dancer as well, because you know otherwise the war dancer just scores. So I had to take care of both of them, hundred percent. So I was happy. I was happy with uh, with uh, with the usage of the bolt there. Um, and KO there, so remove both scoring threats there. Um, <laughs> what would I have done if I didn't break armor? Probably lose. <laughs> and Dante <laughs> Callis in chat saying, what would I do if I'd fail the armor break? Probably just lost. I mean, I would have fouled him with somebody. I would have like GFI to foul. Uh, and that, that was all I could have done, really. I, I had to have armor breaks. It was it was terrifying, but now he's down to now he's down to three players on the pitch, and now now the touchdown looks uh, not even assured because I've, because the, the the runner can't reach to score himself, so I've got to pick up with the uh, with a blitzer and hand off to him, which is sad times. Yeah, incredibly lucky to get the cards, but yeah, just the armor break was pretty essential. So obviously I'm still scared of the, the leap player, so I have to protect against leap a bit, stand firm so he can't blitz out. And then um, scoring threats, I guess. Just Yeah, the loan, the loaner dwarf's doing a great job of just getting punched now. And stopping being down more players, I mean... Okay, now, 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 what you've, what you would expect to happen has started happening now, finally, and uh, but after that early crazy stuff that happened, so yeah, I put him in position so that next turn I can go five and hand off to him, and then he'll be in range to score, and yeah, a bit of a bit of a cage there so that he couldn't leap, he couldn't leap and then do, you know dodge out, so that was why they were, they were all where they were in a big net. An anti leap net. <laughs> I actually could have uh, not stood this guy up or even blitzed the tree. I think I'd blitz the tree. I was thinking, like, do I stand this guy up? No, I shouldn't stand him up. And then I just thought, wait a minute, I can blitz the tree. Maybe it's next turn that I realise I can blitz the tree. Yeah, the dancer should have stayed down. There was no threat in me uh, putting him. So yeah, what I probably should have done was these two maybe could have stayed here and here, so that you'd have to use his blitz to get a hit off. But then I still just didn't want to lose a good player. I didn't want to lose a real player to uh, you know. I didn't want him to GFI and hit this guy in chasm or whatever. So I thought journeyman can take the hit. Uh -huh. And then yeah, and then I'm thinking. Then then this turn I realise I can actually just hit the tree. Because committing a million men towards him, <laughs> you can see there when I realise. <laughs> I moved him to stop the that elf doing anything, and then, and then I was like, oh wait, wait a minute, I can just, um, I can just actually hit the tree, because I can block off his movement, so he couldn't reach whatsoever. That was the thing. He couldn't even base the ball. Well, he could uphill, he could uphill a stand firm guy. <laughs> and I could use, I could misclick not using stand firm and then he could have based me but yeah realistically those three completely shut down him even basing me so that's when I realised I could punch the tree um, so yeah let's get, get the touchdown on turn A he does have a, a, a two chances for the KO rolls now um, gets most of them back and he has the one turn chance except of course I put on all the stand firm guys on the LOS. So there's no way he can get a touchdown uh, one turn. He can't get the push for it. I mean, also he's lost, <laughs> he's also lost his movement nine catcher. <laughs> but I considered not putting him on the LOS, you know, but movement eight sidestep is, is easy enough to get a one turner with. So, or movement nine. So, you know, it was, it was, it would have been pretty easy to get one turn, even with few players. I don't know if he could have done or not, probably. I just thought better safe than sorry, so put me. Even though it's putting valuable players on to get punched, but he's still got hardly any men, has he? Yeah, 
and he's probably going to get these two back for overtime. Um, you know, because he gets two chances. Thanks to cyanide bugs. <laughs> Obviously, sucked, it sucked giving up the hits to the mighty blow guys. That was the only bad thing about this uh, this setup here. I managed to go through my offense there without using a reroll, which was amazing. But they obviously had Chad Shoe hands and dodge and everything. Block. So I shouldn't expect to use too many rerolls, but still. Pretty lucky. Pretty lucky to escape the turnover and uh, everything. He threw to my guy there just for fun. <laughs> just because he could. So yeah, three cars. And only one comes back. So I was pretty lucky there that, um, that he stayed out. And, of course, the biggest look in the game, who wins the coin toss? I did. So obviously receiving now. But he can still do things. You know, he's still got these two war dancers, which are, like, horrific. Really horrific, you know? He's got guard as well if he needs him, or wrestle. So he's got movement. He's got... He's got all sorts of tools. It's like he can still just roll some dice, and I can lose. But obviously, with so many players, I should have guard around the ball. And I think I do set up a little bit deeper here to uh, not be as dumb as I was in the other time. We yeah, obviously if we get some my blow hits in. Then, uh, I mean, the potential is here. This isn't really a player, is he? The tree. It's just uh, it's just we're both down a player. <laughs> I feed him. I feed him a loner, and then I only worry about the elves. I don't need to care about this tree at all. So there's only five players that I'm worried about. So yeah, actually, I actually bring some bring some defense here. Another another cancel from the stadium. Uh, but yeah, I, I brought these back because I thought, look, his his only chances to pressure the ball early, um, with him having so few players left. So, don't know why I didn't follow there. Probably wanted to just keep the uh, keep the screen as, as tight as possible. Make it harder. Make him leap and dodge if he wants to get to the ball. Cheeky mighty blow hit here. There's nothing, which is fair enough. <laughs> Maybe I should have followed to have two guard in there. I like I like to have guard next to each other a lot of the time. Make the pick up. And uh, yeah, but back out of range, I think. I think that's probably out of range. Yeah, out of range. Out of range of the dancer blitz. Which is obviously ideal. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point by Ori Lenses in chat. Anti Rock was the worst stadium in choice against me. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good point. <laughs> Who had the fame? Oh, I had I had the fame, but I'm sure I'd have still lost the rolls. So he does the same kind of thing. He puts a bit of a tries to get a bit of pressure on. That's just give me an extra hit, isn't it? Bit, bit gutted to not get the push there, because obviously it's a dan dancer here. So my, my initial, that's why it wasn't a safe move first. Because, you know, if, if I get the push there, then I hit the dancer. As it is, get to hit this guy and cast him instead, which is pretty good. And we get the... Uh, is it an eye cage? Looks like it looks like I'm gonna do some kind of an eye cage here. Oh no, it's the it's the dick and balls cage that I used in the first half. <laughs> um, ah yes, we're going full full uh, full full anti leap now, so guard in every single square that he can hit from. It's about as safe as it can get.
this this journeyman was a great great purchase wasn't he just getting just getting pushed from pillar to post So he goes for the leap in for an uphill. Has to re-roll the leap. And fails, fails the uphill, thank God, into a KO. And now at this point, it's almost over. I don't know if he had to try for the uphill at that point. Um, but I mean, he probably did. He's, he's sort of down on players, isn't he? But now, obviously, get the mighty blow blitz. Um... That's an interesting choice, isn't it? Don't know why I did that. <laughs> You'd have thought I'd have tried to block him and try to get a power first. Maybe I didn't thought I needed the players over here. I think it GFI's on the cards here, isn't it? Oh no, he just has to go there. But again, surrounded by guard. If you want to be part of Team Positive, Oof. then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby <laughs> and try and fucking play better. Eh? <laughs> yeah. It's not over here. I didn't get, I didn't get the power. Man. So yeah, it's it's not over yet. I mean, it was it was pretty much over. I think he probably he was probably the right call to uh, to do the uphill that that turn and then obviously just go for it again here. I would have just gone for it again if I was him or tree dodge. Tree dodge GFI bit. And then another GFI to base the ball, something like that. But I mean you can you can still you can still go for a leap uphill. I c I can't stop that until I kill this guy, can I? And here I commit to knocking the tree down, which is a bit, a bit leery, isn't it? But I do have two chances with blocks plus the blitz, so I've got pretty good odds of getting him down. Again, guard everywhere, but no blitz. Because I just think if he fails the stand up, I'm good. And he does fail the stand up, so now now it's huge. Now it's pretty much over, I think. It's the one guy without stand firm, <laughs> so he can base the ball. Base, base, base. I mean, obviously, fair enough. There's nothing else you can do at this point. He does tackle it with uh, shadowing. Base the ball with shadowing <laughs> and tackle, but it's easy clear, isn't it? Easy clear. Side steps to the wrong square. I should have side stepped to here. Um, so that if I only pushed him, I wouldn't clear the ball. Oh, no, because I could have followed and pushed him away. No, so it's okay, so it doesn't matter. Sidestep doesn't matter. So, yeah, the, the fail stand-up there is absolutely huge. Now now the now the loner can go back to marking the tree and I can, I can have a full guard cage. Um, obviously, I was, I was trying to be very, very, like, deliberate and methodical here. I didn't want to give him any any more chance than he should have had. So I was really trying trying my best to lock it down as much as possible. Hmm. I think he should have blitzed with him. I couldn't base the ball though, could he? No, I didn't need a market to group. There you go, then Rama set. See, I'm clever. I was paying attention when I was playing the game. <laughs> Fails the GFI into a stun, and now, now, this is probably where I started speaking in the air uh, on the stream, because now I thought, okay, now it's done. With a stun means I can foul him. I can knock this guy over with two blocks and a blitz. And uh, should be all, although actually the block is without tackle, so that's why I did the blitz first. So I'll be pushing him away if I block first. And there's nobody else to blitz. 
So I'll stun there, absolutely massive, and run away now. And there's just no one who can possibly reach. Um, yeah, no one who can reach at all. Pretty surf him just for. I should not have surfed him because I could have got star player points off that. I mean, okay, I'm probably not going to level him up at the end of the tournament, but um, that was a that was a silly uh, a silly surf there, wasn't it? Actually, that was actually suboptimal. I should not have done the surf. I should have just tried to get star player points. <laughs> but yeah, now it's over. Now, now obviously it's over. The ball being stunned. <laughs> now it's just a foul for fun, more than anything. <laughs> okay, old. So yeah, I mean, he just does, he just does, he just just does, 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 does a stupid move there because there's nothing else he can do. Do I try to get star player points? No. No. Don't be silly. Just get the win. So, I mean... Yeah, I think... Uh, look, he, he got a little bit lucky to get the uphill pow. And obviously, he got some good bashing in early as well. Um, which was pretty lucky. But the crucial things were the... Uh, maybe I should have tried to foul the ward answer. And maybe... Obviously, the bolt was huge at the end of the day. But, I mean, look, I was down. I was down about 300 TV. About 300 TV to Woody's, so I needed a bit of luck, didn't I? To, and he only had 11 players, so chances were that I was going to outbash him pretty heavily as the, as the game went on. Only twice as many armor breaks. Um, and, you know, a bunch more blocks. And some dice rolls happened, um, if you care about that sort of thing. Dodge is not great. Go for it's outstanding. <laughs> right, so thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.